dolphins would have to be one of our underwater world's most amazing animals. And for many years, marine biologists around the world have been trying to learn more about these special creatures in order to help protect them and their marine environment. The Dolphin Research Institute is pretty much the go-to for all things dolphin related here in Victoria. In fact, they've been helping to protect our dolphins here in Port Phillip Bay for over 25 years. Sue Mason is one of the team who is keeping a close eye on these marvellous marine creatures. As part of her research, she takes photographs of the local dolphin population in order to individually identify them. Whoa, that's a lot of dolphin photos there, Sue. It is. How many dolphins are there in Port Phillip Bay? So we've got two species, mm -hmm. but we have about 30 short beak common dolphins mm -hmm. and about 120 of a bottlenose dolphin species. Whoa. Okay. And so how do you tell them apart? So we tell them apart by their dorsal fins. Um, they have lots of different nicks and notches and markings. Ah. And so we can tell individuals based on where those markings are located. So is it li a little bit like a fingerprint for a human? Absolutely. So they're all unique. That's amazing. And why is it important for you to be able to identify one dolphin from another? Uh, we look to see who's uh, female, who's male, um, who's mixing with who. Uh, mm -hmm. We look to see who's having calves and a bit of life history and just generally monitor how those animals are in terms of their general health. You're like the dolphin fairy godmother, just keeping an <laughs> eye over all of them. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> One of the best parts of Sue's job is heading out to take photographs of the dolphins in their natural habitat. When she has what she needs, she heads back to the office to analyse them. So, so how many photographs would you have in the system? Uh, at the moment we've got well and truly over 60,000 on this system. Well, taken over how many years? Since about 1997. So you've got an amazing understanding then of the dolphin population in Port Phillip Bay. You've got a real history of them there. We have and that's <laughs> one of the reasons. It's certainly a long-term study that we've been doing over the last 25 years. So. so what can you tell from a photo of a fin like this one? So this animal, for example, you can see it, it's actually ragged. Her, her name is Ragged Fin, so mm -hmm. we can, we've named her after the, the lots of nicks and notches. <laughs> the and Ragged Fin. Ragged Fin. Yeah. So we know that, for example, she hasn't had any calves and that we see her a lot with other animals. Yep. Um, that she will sometimes be swimming with the calves of other animals and lots of other, around with other, lots of that's other females. That's amazing. And you can just tell that's ragged fin purely by the, the notches there on the fin, which a lot of them, I presume, have because that's just sort of wear and tear for a dolphin. And how can you tell whether it's a male or female dolphin? So with the short beak commons, it's mm -hmm. a little different to a bottlenose species and they actually have what we call a post-anal keel and a post-anal keel is a lump that's just after the ah. anus on the animals. So, and that's in the mature males. So that's so. how you tell this lump here, that means it's a male dolphin. Correct. So, so what do you do with all the information that you collect? So the data that we collect, we uh, analyse and we're starting to put to get together some scientific papers to publish that for the scientific community. Mm -hmm. uh, we also run a lot of marine education programs here for school students and for adults as well. And we obviously disseminate and give that information out during those programs. It's really nice to have the public know what we do and try to educate of them. Course. The cool species that we actually have on our doorstep. And of course, the important part of this jigsaw is that we uh, make sure that the managers uh, understand what we're seeing and, and how many animals we're seeing so that in the hope that they can help conserve those populations and communities because they're pretty special. I agree. <laughs>